of their job or saying anything wrong. Everybody comfortable with that? Very good. Thank you, everybody. I'm clearing that. We'll go fast. Types of waste. Now, here's what I'd like to do. We've done this already. I'd like to do this. Um, hmm. Uh, discussion with Peter. Picture of flashlight. Let's let's do that first. And I'm going to share a whiteboard. And I'm going to do what I did with Peter. All right, everybody. I'll tell you why we stopped. Tell you why we stopped. Let's assume for a second we have a flashlight. Now, everybody, uh, I apologize for my flashlight, but there's the little button to turn it on. <laughs> there's my flashlight. Everybody comfortable with that? It shoots yellow light. All right. Uh, thank you, Dirk. <laughs> Somebody's got to laugh. Now, this yellow light goes out. I'm going to say that uh, the completeness of our training, the completeness, everybody listen to what I'm saying, is represented by a circle, a cross-section, a cross-section of the path of the light. And we know the area. And what is area? Area is equal to pi I'll put here pi r squared. Everybody comfortable with that? Area is pi r squared. That's completeness. So this is the completeness of our training. In the stages that we are in right now, we are in the early stages of training. So if we click across the top and I say this is time, as time goes by, here we are in the early stages of our lean training, and here we are in the later stages of our lean training. We're starting at the beginning. Now, what happens if we are not driving a conversation to silence? What happens? And I'll tell you what I think. And this is a good way for an analogy. Maybe I'll do this. Let's say there's a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. Okay. What happens is over time, if I leave something out, or you don't get a question answered, there's a gap. Do you see where the area now is pi r squared minus the dot? <laughs> Does everybody see that? I'm just putting a dot there. There it is, pi r squared minus the dot because you've, you've missed that part of the training. And over here later on in life, we have this pi r squared minus the dot, this one here minus the dot, and this one here minus the dot cross-sectional area. However, this dot, what happens to it is it expands. So this dot becomes a big circle later. Does everybody see that? And this dot here becomes a big circle later. And then what happens is uh, something uh, amazing because this is what happens in lean. It's not done properly. And when it's not done properly, what we got is failure. And this is what happens with most companies. Most companies fail to implement because they don't do it right. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Yes or no? Put yes or no. Okay, very good. I'm going to clear this. And if there's any questions, you know, I know you should be putting your cursor up here. Otherwise, I'm going to move on. Any questions? I'll ask one last time. Let's move on. So I shared that with uh, Peter um, last week. Okay, types of waste. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's create a rule. I'm going to ask for a question, and I'd like somebody to put their cursor up and then start talking. If I get two examples for each of these wastes, I move to the next slide. And I'm going to call it Tim Wood because that's what I did in my course. So the first waste is transportation. I want two examples. As soon as somebody has an idea, Put your cursor up there, but um, transportation is excessive movement. Don't do it now. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you when. Excessive movement of people, information, or materials. So it could be one of those three. People, information, or materials. Now, here's an example of transportation waste, and I'll give you the story that nobody knows. I went into this company. And they said, George, I want you to come in, 
take a look at my business for the morning and then tell me if you can help me because I heard you do a good job because I was at one of their sister companies. So I said, okay, uh, I don't I don't know if I can help them, but let's go through the shop. And I work backwards. I actually work from the customer and I walk it upstream. So the way I'm showing it to you now is really backwards. So let me show you uh, using um, using the cursor, but here we go. Now, does everybody see my cursor, yes or no? Good, everybody sees it, thank you. I'm gonna clear this now. I'm, I walk here and I, I look at the material. This is now the back end and I have to draw it on a map. So I say material is sitting and I'm only gonna use the tube in 20 foot lengths, 20 feet. It comes in, it goes onto a rack and then it gets cut on the saw, cut. There's value added now, cut. Then it goes onto a rack. Then it goes to tube drilling. You could even see tube drilling. There's a drill and it puts a hole in it. Then it gets drilled and then it goes onto a rack. Then it goes to over here, base plate weld. They weld an end to it. And then it goes onto the rack. Then it goes to port weld. And then it goes onto a rack. Then it goes to tube CNC, it goes on the CNC. Then it goes onto a rack. Then it goes to robot weld, robotic welding. Then it goes into inspection. And that's as far as I went. And I said to the owner of this company, I said, if I show you this, do you think you have a problem? Yes or no? And I could tell you right now, you could save 50% on your labor, just related moving material, related to that. Now this guy, he's been doing it for 30 years. He stood up, I thought he was gonna say, get out of here, get out of here, George. Instead, he stuck his hand out and he says, George, I wanna shake your hand. <laughs> So this guy, he says, I want you to start. Let's do values. Let's do your thing. Let's let's fix it. Because obviously this machine here should go here. This one here should go here. We should have a supermarket here. We should be flowing through and it shouldn't be stocked at all. We should remove all the stocking. Okay. Now that was one way of showing it. Here's the assembly area. This is before, and you could see the watermarks here on the wall. After we removed 20 sections of racking, it looked like this. See, here's on the wall. You couldn't even see these lights before. But this is the major change you can make by figuring out where the waste is and eliminating the waste. Okay, any examples? I need two before I move on. In your business, 